Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Hoping you're having a fantastic week. We're back from yesterday. Two streams in a row. My name is Joel Duggan and this is the Citadel. It is a five, almost six year old survival Minecraft server. And we are in West Hill, which is a build I've been working on for quite some time, a little over two years. See a lot of regulars in the chat. Dan, Kel, Obu, good to see y'all. Hope you're enjoying your day. Yesterday we finished off the bakery and the stone church with some details. We've been doing a detailed pass as to what needs to happen. And I think today we'll start off by finishing up this little kiosk here in the, the square. And I'm not entirely sure, not entirely sure what I want to do here. We already have a flower stand over here. We did something very similar on this side. Right down there. Got some flower pots and some vines and stuff. And I like what I did with the, the awning there too. So it's smooth stairs and then slabs. And I like that too. So we're probably going to make a couple of block changes. Pink flowers. I don't, I don't think I want to do a flower shop. I kind of want to try to figure out what could make sense. So, so people know there's a blacksmith here. There's a stable there. Church, bakery. This is an inn and a pub. Or tavern. And there's a butcher shop here. And then there is spice shop here. We could maybe have like butcher stuff for sale that could be kind of cool like a little meat meat market something that could be interesting steven esc registering that six month gift subscription courtesy of cosmic dancer entering month three thanks to cosmic once again steven good to see you long time no chat <laughs> steven and i just recorded the citadel cafe episode 460 last night and then we went to the gym together this morning <laughs> so <laughs> We see quite a lot of each other. No complaints. The choke box. What's in there? That's all the stuff that I don't need right now. We did not clean up our inventory from last stream, so that might be the first thing that we do today. Thankfully, I do know where everything goes. Probably gonna need the armor stand and the armor stand book. So many different things, man. So many different items. So Chasm, hello, hello. You having a good day? Did I bring quartz? Did so. Smooth quartz stairs. Regular quartz slabs. Regular quartz stairs. Smooth. And <clears throat> I wonder if we should. I do kind of want to do a little meat market type thing. I think that could be fun. I feel like I did one out 
out by the river, maybe? <laughs> Thanks, Cal. Glad uh, glad you were able to go back and check out what was going on. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a meat market thing here. I think that's... We could do something very similar. Although, it feels like maybe a copy of it since it's a white awning as well. We could do some herbal stuff. That could be kind of cool. I do like the hanging roots and the mushrooms. The mushrooms are pretty vibrant. We can grab maybe the warped mushrooms instead. Or we could do a fish. Fish stand too. I just feel like I'm copying what we already have, but like, I don't want to do bakery. What kind of things would be sold in a town square? I mean, you're going to be walking right at it, so I want it to look nice. I kind of want to go with the mushrooms just because I feel like the colors would be something that would work well. I like the barrels. We're going to I'm gonna change that, I think, to stairs maybe. Don't like those. Yeah, crimson vines are like sausages or like entrails, you know, intestines, guts, that kind of thing. They totally, totally work. Yeah, I feel like maybe this could be the meat place and then this could be the mushroom place. Either way. I want to try and change this up a little bit. Ends up looking like folds. The little seams between the blocks. It looks like folds. They're like... Of course, they'd be on top. So let's get uh, some wood stuff. Maybe we'll do fish and mushrooms. Because there's two kiosks, right? We could do all kinds of really interesting stuff with the mushrooms. I can figure out how to make them. What do I need? I think I just need to bone meal this. Get more of these, right? I don't think I have any 
weapons and stuff. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Hmm. your space case hello hope you're having a good day here we go Should be enough, I think. And then if I wanted more of this stuff, I think I could just use another rack, right? I already had some. Whoops. I guess I don't need these blocks in here taking up room when I've got dedicated shulkers to them, I guess. Okay, so <clears throat> can fix the kiosk. We've done done with the quartz. So now it's a matter of figuring out how to do any kind of mushroom block. I don't know what we would put on the bottom for a mushroom stem. I kind of wonder if we could use warped stuff. Like, could these... No, they don't really feel sturdy enough, do they? What do people use for custom mushroom stems? Probably... Um, end rods, right? But I don't want to do light sources. Candles? I guess candles could be used, right? That could be kind of fun. Yeah, we can give that a go. All right, let's um, let's go fix this stand. So I'm happy with the uh, barrels. Can we do this with signs, maybe. Doesn't look a lot different than before, but if we added some 
little details. I think they'll be okay. I almost want to extend the counter a bit. Like I almost want to have a longer, that feels kind of strange. Maybe it should go around the corner. Kind of like that. Maybe we put the stair the other way. Actually, we should use a table for that. Yeah, <clears throat> more than enough is definitely how how I approach my Minecraft world. I like to, I hoard things. That's putting it lightly, I think. Yeah, I think that feels like kind of cobbled together. So here we could put um, something specific like a mushroom like this right but I think it would be fun to try and do like custom mushrooms maybe with armor stands that's a cool one could also go very bright I like that idea, just maybe not for here. That works, obviously. It works with the, the other mushroom. I really should update these to new models that actually have like 3D models, kind of like the azalea saplings. That would be best. I don't know if we have more of those. Let's go see if we've got more copper that we can play around with. Uh, we do. What I should have brought was a uh, shulk box. So that's exposed cut copper. The cut copper doesn't look very organic. That looks cool. Could always try some of those too.
I'd say that's about it. That's about it. Elad Jenkins, hello, welcome in. Hope you're enjoying your, your day in the stream. Happy, good to see you as well. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is we put down, oh, I wish they faced the other way. Maybe we'll put these over here. And then we'll put down armor stand with a copper block. And then I think we maybe change it to a small armor stand. Oh, whoops, not the wrong way. I guess they wouldn't necessarily be standing up, would they? The mushrooms. That sort of works. Doesn't make any sense that they're standing up like that, though. It's the only thing. I don't know whether to do two of the same. Probably better to do different block. Uh, that way, not a bad memory.
Why can I not hide it? There we go. I think it looks like mushrooms. I think kind of having the other mushroom here makes sense. Now, that's the full block. That's a half block. So we can't hang anything from that, unfortunately. Which is too bad. Man, I don't want to sacrifice anything back there either. Maybe we can put another table back there or something. Yeah, I feel like that works. Maybe we'll just move it down just a little bit. We'll go get more tables and chairs too. Thanks. Yeah, the armor stand stuff is kind of fun. It's um, I I, I try not to get too carried away with it because it it does feel, it does feel kind of modded, but um, but I just I like the results so much. I don't know where we're going to be able to hang anything. I guess we could hang something in that space. Well, we could hang things here and just have them not, not touch that, I guess. So I don't know if I want like two tables or if I want what looks like a, like a workbench table. Hmm, it feels a little bit funny. I don't think I want to do another barrel back there. Maybe I should do a crate. Maybe that'll work. Hmm, actually. I like that. And then maybe we do just stick with the table. Love watching stuff like this to come together. It's tedious sometimes, but it can be very rewarding. Uh, what's the hanging thing? Twisting vines. Oh, they come up from the bottom, right? They don't, yeah. That's very bright. So I think I want to do another custom mushroom there. Maybe an azalea bush. But I think a mushroom would make more sense. 
and maybe we'll go with one of these. What other candle colors could we use? Hmm. White, gray. I don't know what a light gray candle looks like. That's something I'd like to have is the the ability to um dye already dyed candles. I realize it makes no sense logically, but from a gameplay perspective, I feel like it would be be fun. I think maybe we'll try the light gray. Try the light gray. That was my head. I kind of want to try to keep it that big, but I don't think it's going to look very, like, sturdy, you know? Out of curiosity, what happens if I give an armor stand a candle? So it does look bigger in hand than it does in the world. But not quite the way that I would want it to. Can't think of anything else that I could put there. Outside of maybe putting down a flower pot. And an azalea bush. But then I don't think I want two flower pots next to one another. Is there anything in the game that we could use that would be bigger than that? I guess I could just use another head, like another another mini block. That might work. Hmm. What could we do? Like a stone or, or andesite mini block would look good yeah it, it wouldn't be balanced but i i think what if i made like a squat mushroom like a big fat one um i just don't know how to get i guess we could put the mini block in the hand maybe this will take this will take some doing but hopefully it won't take too long um do, 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 do. i do have one look at that So, no, nope, I don't want that back. I think that's about right. Uh, 
Uh, right arm. That was what I wanted. Oh, I should break that candle. I may want to do this twice. So let's go. Don't like it when there's a range to it. I don't know why they made these increments one and three. I feel like it really should have been two, four, right? One, two, four. Okay. So let's, uh, let's call that. Oh, well, maybe we'll move them over just a little bit. And we did prismarine there. That looks really good with the copper one. With the bright one. I don't know. I don't think I want to go with a small. Like I don't think I want to go with a big stand. I think that's too big. So yeah, we'll go with the small stand. It's really hard to see. Move this. You know, as much as I I like to have things off, sometimes it makes sense to line them up. And best you can anyway. So that's okay. The 
feels a little bit gray. The only problem I think is that it tends to blend into what's going on behind it. But we may still be able to put something here. Yeah, interesting. So if I wanted to put another flower pot there, probably could. Or I could put another mushroom. Oh no, it's going to overlap. Chaos Bride. Nope, we just kind of organized the inventory a little bit and then started putting mushrooms on this little kiosk. Really not much has been happening. I feel like we could put something interesting there. Unless we do maybe another flower pot. I think I'm going to keep flower pots in a different spot now. I feel like I've misplaced them, but. So what would be another good um, like mushroom stem base? I guess a wall, like a wall block. That could potentially work. If I give an armor stand a wall block, uh, hmm, that would work for maybe like a two a two blossom mushroom. Maybe I don't like the color though. Oh, and that doesn't fit there. Huh, okay. Oh, right. Different sprite altogether. Packed mud, yeah, packed mud could be cool. That would kind of balance out the color, I think you're right. I was trying to think of something like not a mushroom, but I was hoping to put like a flower pot and then have it look like it had multiple mushrooms in it or something. I mean, really, we could just put down single, you know, if they were big enough mushrooms, we could do that in the wild. And that would be cool. Maybe the solution here is to have something come down from above. Nope. Maybe we'll do glowberries. Bun roll. Hello, hello. Welcome. 
Come in. There's pack mud. I also have regular mushrooms too. Put this here. So that would have been another way to do it too. Put the item in an item frame and then put the mushroom on top of it. That could have worked. Yeah, I think that works the best. I don't think I want to overdo it with two. I think maybe just the one. I wish we could do something there, but we see it from out here, so I can't remove it. You know, maybe that's good. Maybe we don't need to, to crowd the place. Hmm. It starts to get a little like over the top, you know? Kind of wonder whether what we should have back here is maybe something like a composter instead of the table. quite want to go that far with it, but I think that works. And then maybe to get some color back there, what we can do is maybe use the trapdoors to create like a barrel. And then we could use the suggestion of the packed mud like that. As if it's a barrel full of mushrooms, maybe sort of, kind of. And if I could place a mushroom on top of that. Oh. I think maybe now we're talking. It's pretty good. It does still feel a little sparse back here. I think maybe we'll change these out. What's a bit repetitive? I'm not sure what you mean, Dan. Now, do we have any other mini blocks that we could put on top of the crate? 
can work. I mean, maybe just a flower pot. Like it's a re repeat of the same texture. Want another brown, brown mini block, I think. If I have a jungle log somewhere, that would be ideal. I'm sure I do. This is the only thing I find tedious about this kind of stage of these builds is the constant like flying around like do I have that that thing that I never use that I have but it's like way over here I'm basically just grabbing any kind of brown block we might want. Oh, that's a player hit. Take that one just in case. Sure. Too many mushrooms have been repetitive, right? Oh yeah, like the, the crimson mushroom. Let's walk in through this way and see what it looks like. Coming down. Oh yeah, I think that's a decent amount of detail. This doesn't feel too crowded, which is nice. So I was thinking like even just having like a block there would be cool. It does have a funny top to it. I think I like it down there better, and I think I like that color better. The only other thing I could think of would be barrel. Break the first of its name, but shall not be the last. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I still f sort of want something up on here somehow. It helps a little bit. Have you my suggestion of packed mud got used? I had suggested it as a possible mushroom stem, but it clearly works as a barrel of mushrooms too. Yeah, I I think it works both. Like that could have been a great mushroom stem or mushroom top, really. Uh, I agree. I want to do a custom biome. Like one of the reasons I'm collecting all of these crazy heads is because I want to do some really cool stuff with 
building my own mushrooms that are like massive and glowy and all kinds of fun stuff and like a sci-fi build i think that could be really cool okay i don't think i'm gonna beat myself up over this i think this is good enough i i, I just was hoping to be able to put you know like grab something that's a player head that i want to replace again Yeah, it just gets too busy. It just gets too busy. Okay. I am convinced. One market stand done. And then I guess we can do something else here. Maybe maybe that one will be the fish one. I don't think I want to do more of an awning. I think I tried that and I, I didn't like the look of it. So we'll have to come up with something else here. I don't think I want to make that bigger, but anyway, I will tackle that after my break. If you are new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. You should too, stand up, take a stretch. And uh, we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So I guess the next thing to do is work on this other other kiosk type thing. I guess it just needs to look more like a kiosk for starters. But I don't know if I want to put a lot of things on it. I wonder if we could use the barrels. Construct something like this. And then we could use stair. And then I could put something with water in that. We've done this over here. And I hate to be using all the same tricks over and over again, but like, I, I kind of kind of want to use the ones that work. I thought this was really cool, having Prismarine underwater. So maybe we can do something like that. Oh, thanks, Dan. So we could do a stair, maybe? I don't know if that'll look right. No. You're not going to see it unless you're right on top of it, but it's kind of cool. I think we'll add the detail there too. Uh, do we want to do? Yes, we have to do that. Okay. So here is where we could put some sort of maybe some fish. I don't know whether that's going to be too similar. Maybe we should do dark oak. Yeah. All right. I have a plan. I need some dark oak. Some salmon. Try dark oak. We can also try uh, jungle. I don't think mangrove would look very good. And I don't think I have any salmon kicking around. Gonna have to make some more rockets soon. We might have to go salmon hunting. <laughs> Not something you do very often in Minecraft. Nothing there. I got three extra of those I'll take. It's a bat head. Well, there's a mushroom block we could have used. I like the ones that we use better. More mini blocks, look at that. Remember that's there. Maybe we should just take those out now.
Oh, there we go. Raw salmon, cooked salmon. Um, we might be able to use the rotten flesh. That's the wrong sulfur box. Here we go. You could use gold blocks as mushroom tops too. Oh, there's a whole, whole thing of stuff here. I should put these in here. So I guess we have to go grab a looting sword and maybe hit up some fish. The work you do is amazing. Oh, thanks very much. Started a village in creative and it's so refreshing. Oh, fun. What uh, what kind of work are you doing in, in on the village? Does it have like a theme or anything? I think I want to do a little cooking. I really like the new additions in the snapshot this week where you can create entities in the world with commands. I can see some data pack authors having some really fun, fun projects with that. I think we're going to go with the cooked salmon. Oh, I already put one down. Do I have a looting sword? Probably not. Oh, my regular sword has looting on it. Interesting. one river that didn't have salmon in it. I like that you can see the rain in the top of the water. That's pretty cool. So I'm hoping to get a salmon head, which should drop naturally with the data pack. We've got the two data packs for mini blocks. The the mob head drops, but then also um, the villager, the wandering trader one. There's lots of squid in freshwater rivers, which makes no sense at all.
Man, I'm not seeing anything. Nice and deep over here. Maybe we'll get more opportunities. Nothing. Seriously? What's really fun is that this particular river, we can actually swim through it. All the way up north, all the way to the wheat farm. It's actually all connected, which is really cool. Oh, salmon. I feel like there should be more fish, more kinds of fish. We're just getting the salmon, not the actual heads. Yeah. It reminds me of the old Sesame Street skit. Here, fishy fishy. With Ernie and Bert. That or fishing with a club. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to waste all day. We've got the salmon. I don't need, need the salmon head. I would like to have one, but... I could also see if anybody else has one on the server. Oh, got one. Just as I say that. Perfect. Team known, thanks very much. Team unknown, pardon me. Thanks for the follow. Uh, same with you, Nightmare Rex. fix that. We'll fix that. Okay. Um, I need dirt, I guess. Grass. Like it never happened. I had more. I did.
don't want to leave you there. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> because we go through these like crazy now. And, oh, we're okay for food. I thought I had six on me somewhere. There we go. I do enjoy the end game and having so much stuff at your fingertips. It's pretty fun. You have to stay organized. Otherwise, you're just going to end up... Um, oh, I forgot to nip these. Hold on. Yeah, otherwise you just you end up going in circles in, in your inventory, which is no fun. Uh, let's put the fish head going a little bit this way and then I think we're going to go with a different color. Oh, did I leave the dark oak one in the ground? Yes, I did. So the spruce looks a little bit too samey. I've got a funny feeling that the jungle is going to be a little bit on the pink side. It's not awful. But I think this is probably going to look the sharpest. Yeah. So what I thought I would do here is we'll pick between the salmon, cooked or uncooked. interesting way to place that. So this, the head always rotates. I think it's based on the north facing, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. We're going to rotate it on the Z. Which does not make any sense, but once you memorize it, then you're usually good. Should have chosen a bigger increment as well.
gravity. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it's that, or we could put it on the corners, which actually might look, well, might be pushing my luck there. The idea is just having a fish kind of like hanging and drying. Uh, but yeah, I could put one here on the corner and I could put another one in that corner, or I could put them on the flat sides. I feel like it's probably better to put them on the corners, but that's pretty easy to do. Just have to reposition it. Yeah. So the only question left is, do we want cooked salmon or uncooked salmon? I think I like the cooked better. What do we think chat? Chaos Bride, that's really nice. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you can chill out to the streams. Cooked? Yeah, I think so too. All right, well, that's it for you. Now, before I do anything, I'll just have to make a note here. I should probably get a little bit more cracked cobble and stuff because once i get that armor stand in place i cannot change the texture on the road and it's really tricky so for example i want to put that there i want to have another one here I want to throw in something like that. Just because once these things are all sorted, it's hard to move them around. You know, what? I'm going to put one here too. Now we should be able to um, visible lock it. And we sleep, and then we do another one. First, though, somebody left the gate wide open. Liana! Lena, sorry, I did it again. Lena, good to see you. Welcome back. Mm. 
wonder who did a silly little thing like that, like leave the gate open? Yeah, who knows? Styles. Arms, yes. Styles. Gravity, no. K the River Cat coming in with a subscription at tier one. 18 months. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate the support. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We'll do the same thing here. We'll just rotation 15 degrees and then post adjust wrong way. I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, that was the wrong way. I'd say that's almost there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower him just a little bit. They're not at the same height. I think that's good enough. It's always easier the second time around. I think that works out pretty well. This feels a little clean. We can't. We don't really have anything we can do about that. Um, one thing I could try to do is. Could try to put some Nylium back there, maybe. I think we did that in here. Yeah. That's not, it's still a little bit much. One thing I could try is putting some stairs in there, though. Kind of fun. See if we can get like little bits of water that is spilled around. So we can position this right. I should be able to do stairs. Like if I do stairs like this, it won't be the right shape. I put a stair in here and then do that. 
Oh no, that's okay. What do I want to do here? Oh, I see. Hold on. That way, and then this way, and then... Yeah, I was hoping that was going to look like water spilling out, but... It just looks like some sort of weird sewer thing, so... Oh well, worth a shot. So, Gasm, have a good one. Thanks very much. And, and again, Kay, thank you ever so much. A year and a half at Tier 1. That's just so lovely. I really appreciate the support. Yeah, you know what? Let's just call that done. I don't think we really need to do much more. I think that works. I like it. The only thing left is just to maybe noodle around with this a little bit. I would say these need to be like that. Yeah, that works. Cool. Oh, I've got a full box here. I don't think we need anything there. I feel like that's, you need space for your eyes to rest a little bit and you're just, you're not gonna really notice much. The only thing I can think of would again be just like little dressing blocks that have no real purpose. They're just kind of there to make the place look nice. I think a barrel would be overkill, so probably just go for a, one of these. Or maybe a composter. I wonder... Back here, I had a nice little cauldron. Like a rain spout. I wonder if that would look good up here. We've already got water right there. That's the only thing. We got a note block there. Well, we could just we could do the spout and just um, not have any water in it, and still use the composter as if it was like a wooden barrel. I 
break, I'll do two cobblestone. Um, bup, 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 bup. let's see. Hmm. I don't love the composter. I could just go with an empty cauldron. Oh, need more than that. Yeah, that looks better. We'll try it with the water, but I'm worried it's going to be a little bit repetitive. Yeah, so we'll leave it dry. Yeah, I think because we've been killing mobs, the elytra has been doing okay. But yeah, you're right. It, uh, it adds up fast, that's for sure. All right, well, I'm going to call that done. Unfortunately, I don't think that was on our checklist. I feel like we just, it was so obvious and so open and so needed that I didn't write it down. But we'll check just to make sure, just in case I do have to check something off. I think I've only ever had my Elytra break mid-flight once. And I think that that was enough. And then you just don't, you don't think about it after that. Oh, why are there arrows in there? Somewhere I have all of these chests. And the furniture hammer goes there. Always nice to stay organized. Might as well leave some of this stuff out. Don't need the concrete a lot. Cool. I can't believe that took the whole stream. <laughs> Just the better part of two hours on these little kiosks. I mean, they're fun, but like, I hope I didn't go overboard on them. I know that they look pretty, pretty unique, but I just, I have this thing where I really want something interesting to look at as you're walking into each of the gates. So like here, we've got this little kiosk. Obviously there's the square and then you're right, you're right up against the church. Plus there's a lot going on here in, in the um blacksmith and then on the other side we've got the um the 
the leather shop, which is a cute little build. And that's kind of front and center, really nice and polished, well lit, cool sign, like all that looks good here. And then on the front gate, I think the thing in the front gate is you're kind of looking at the south gate. So when you come in the north gate, oh yeah, there's some kind of boring stuff there. I guess the bridge is the main thing, right? Like you see the bridge right away. And then after that, you see the main, the main south gate. So this is pretty interesting. It's pretty brown. Not a lot going on color-wise. But I think that's kind of your main draw. And then when you come in the south gate, yeah, you're looking at the, the north gate. Plus, that's a pretty interesting looking build. It was more the east and west that had like long plain roads that I wanted to uh, to tweak. So let's grab the book and see what might be left. And this might be a situation where I'm going to add, finish the kiosks outside the, the uh, smiling goat. Eastgate. Uh, that's all done. That's all done. Detail East Bakery. Detail um, Tavern. What were they? What would we call those kiosks? Market stalls. There we go. So there's not much left in the east to do. We've got um, inside the dripstone roof house, east road dressing, east gate light check, and fix the ugly custom tree. So that's the ugly custom tree. Uh, that is not going to be done until we fix the road, and we probably are not going to do the road until we do the bridge. So this is all very kind of end, end of the design sort of thing. The deep slate house or the deep slate roof house is this one over here. So this build here with the gray terracotta and the deep slate in the roof, um, which I remember looking better, but maybe we can fix that up. Uh, obviously it's got nothing. It's got no doors, no windows. It has a very rough staircase that we will have to finish up. Uh, I do like that the staircase comes outside. So again, we'll need a door here. Uh, and then a way to get everything back around here. Probably another door here. Although ah, there's no, we can't put doors on stairs, which is infuriating. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to do that. Uh, but like, there's not going to really need to be anything in here. But I would like to put something out here. I don't know what. And then, of course, in here needs to be, it may not be a house. It. I feel like this should be maybe some sort of shop. I don't know what this could be. We'll have to do a brainstorm about what kind of medieval fantasy shops could be here. I almost want to see something like, it's off the beaten path, so it can't be like essential goods. It has to be something more like a service, like money lending or something like that maybe maps it's not very big though we do have a big wall we could display some stuff on the back i don't want to get into doing custom map art so we'll have to figure out what that might be able to be transformed into uh, but then the east road set dressing what did i call it east road dressing and Eastgate like check. So the East Road dressing, I just mean things like maybe putting a cart in here in the market. So this is not completely empty. Um, 
I feel like we could probably put something here. Maybe something there. There could definitely be a few things here. Just like little little things around, I think, are a good idea. A banker would be fun. Yeah, that could be kind of interesting to to work out. The only thing about like a bank would be you'd think that would be a sturdier build. Like you think a bank would look more like this, right? You think the bank would be more like that. And I don't know if a bank would be something that would exist in a place that has a kingdom, like a keep, has a castle. So I don't know. We'll have to come up with something. I like the idea of a map, like a map maker or something. But that's going to be tricky to communicate. We could just do maps on the tables. We'll see. I need to sleep before anything else. Let's just go up here. Thankfully, when you're done decorating, there are beds everywhere. Something to do with town finance. Yeah, we do have the magistrate over on the over on the, the west side. That's the other thing. This is like the, it's not the poorest area of town, but it's not the richest either. So I'm not really sure about it. Yeah, I like this little kiosk. Very, very cool. Um, and then ugly custom tree and then texture dress east road. So that's kind of like the end. I might even move that to be outside of the walls. But anyway, uh, I'm surprised that this actually took us two hours to finish this up. I mean, I know I'm me and I'm a perfectionist, but uh, these armor stand things are a bit finicky. And uh, it took a while to choose the right the right blocks and the right colors, but I think it works well. I think it uh, still works kind of like with the colors that's going around. The, um, the browns certainly work in with the warm tones and keeping things on the kind of like greeny blue side help with tying it to all the other green things that are around but uh if you've enjoyed today please leave a follow before you take off uh, don't go anywhere we're going to uh check out uh another streamer i'm gonna go poke around and see who's live uh looks like uh i think slice slime is live and they're experimenting on different fan servers yeah let's read slice slime i'm sure you're all familiar with slice slime so we'll pass you on to Slice Slime. Uh, I will be um, editing and posting the new episode of the Citadel Cafe later on tonight. Hopefully that is out before tomorrow morning. You can also listen to the new episode of the Spawn Chunks with myself and Fwip. Uh, Fwip filled in for Johnny, which is a fantastic conversation that's out right now, thespawnchunks.com or wherever you find a podcast. And thank you to the subs today. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the fun chats in the chat. And we'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours with the fourth installment of building the Lego NASA Shuttle Discovery. So that's a pretty fun, chill stream if you're looking for something to have on your second monitor while I build some Lego and chat with you all live on Twitch. That's it for me, folks. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy Slice Lime, be kind, and we'll see you later.